Hi, here's Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Let's manage the process of publishing and scheduling of SharePoint online pages. I want to share with you the easiest way to manage the publishing of the pages and the news announcements on SharePoint Online. You can very easily use scheduling process plus publishing process whole approval behind the publishing of the new announcement, new posts, which gives you a lot of control what and when will be published on your SharePoint intranet portal or on your team site based on your pages. In few minutes, you will be able to set up the whole process based on your preferences on your SharePoint Online intranet portal. If you're using SharePoint to manage your communication, this solution will really improve that process. If you want to get the notification about the new video, subscribe to the channel. I also encourage you to do that. This helps the uh, channel to grow. And now we will switch to my screen when I will show you how to set up this solution very quickly. When you're working on SharePoint Online and you want to manage the way how the pages works, you have to navigate to Site Pages library. You can do that from the perspective of the site content and there you have to localize site pages library. You can see this page library, not document library. And directly in here you will be able to find the new functionality which is called scheduling. This is the feature that allows you to schedule when the new updates or new pages should be published to everyone on your SharePoint Online so you can prepare the content ahead and then deliver it to the end users. So when you go there, you can just enable the scheduling. Thanks to that, on every page, you will be able to set up when the page should be published for everyone. We will switch now to one example of the page. When you try to edit the page on the scheduling process, you will have this additional functionality to be set directly on the page detail. So it's not turned on for everyone directly or for every page. You can manage it on the page level. So when you will choose this functionality to be on, then you can decide when exactly this page or this change you are already doing will be published for everyone. So this is very, very simple functionality. You can see there is a new button present here, not published by schedule. So you can decide to schedule the publication of this page for exact date. Let's do that. On the scheduled page, you can see when the page will be published for the rest of the users. And from perspective of the page details, you will be able to find the same information in here. Right now, what we want to extend is to add additional approval before the publishing. Both features can work together, so it's really great framework for the publishing of the SharePoint pages. Working on the SharePoint pages could be also extended for the publishing process. So every change, every new page should be approved before it will be available for the end users, also scheduled change. So you can add additional Power Automate based approval publishing process for SharePoint pages. The only thing you have to do is to go to Power Automate, select Configure Page Approval Flow. Create the flow on your page library. Power Automate will authenticate to all features necessary to set it up. The only thing you have to do is to continue and select the approver of the SharePoint pages. In this case, I will select myself and create the workflow. After a few seconds, the approval process will be created on your page library. Every change on the page will need to go through approval process before it will be delivered to the end users. When you will refresh the page, you can see that additional column is added, approval status. It will also contain the information if the additional change will be done on the page. So let's see how that process will work. When we will get back to addition of the page, you will see that after any changes added to the page, you have additional button submit for approval. 
you have to push that button to send the page to be approved before it will be published to the rest of the users. At first time you will also have to authenticate again, send additional message and send to the selected approver for the page library. After the moment, the approval process will be started. A signed approver will receive the email from the Power Automate process when this person can review if the page should be approved or not. Of course, the one thing you have to notice here, there is a link to the page itself, to the version of the page, so you cannot see the changes directly in the email, but there is an easy way to get there. So from perspective of the email itself, you can approve it, put any additional comment here and just submit your response. Also creator of the request for the publishing of the new version will also get the confirmation about your action so all people will be informed at what point we are. When you will get back to your library, in the end you will see also updated status of the approval process, if this is scheduled or this is approved or rejected. So you can see in few minutes you can set the whole process very quickly, very easy way. I hope this short video will help you to build similar process on your SharePoint Online and give you more control about other people or content they delivering to your intranet portal or on your pages. If you are interested on other topics related with Office 365, check the channel. Also in the description you will be able to find access to free ebooks or trainings provided on my blog office365 at work.com. Thanks for watching and see you in next episode.